in my forties and she still makes me feel like a naughty school kid. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming. Don't mind me. You want to have a conversation about overprotective mums. <laughs> Linda, visitor. caused all this and you just couldn't bear to be around here I mean around me that's why you left like that I just need you to go away because even though he betrayed me hurt me broke my heart I I loved him and I had to find some space to grieve oh god god it's okay it's... and we need to put this behind us Try to rebuild our lives. But it's so hard, Jerry. I mean, you don't understand. I mean, what we... What we had to do with his... You dig a deeper hole, shove him in, in and cement over the top. And... He's still in the cav. Oh. We didn't have a choice. And we've, we've been under so much pressure since then. I mean, Denise, Denise had a breakdown. That she actually went to a mental health facility. Is she OK? <sighs> she's home again and she's getting there. And then Karen, Karen come back. She, she was asking questions, making accusations. And, and Nish got all suspicious as well. Have you spoken to Phil? Well, he's been calling, but no one. I couldn't pick up the phone to anyone. He's running the arches now. He, he says it's payment in kind for the ransom money you gave Karen. No one could have stopped him. <sighs> it's OK, it's fine. As long as it means I don't have to walk in there again. I've really missed you. Well, I'm here now. When it's all behind us. Isn't it? That there is one thing, the, uh, the weapon, the, the meat thermometer, is missing. 